Welcome to the Mint Report, a wrap-up of the day's business news. Here are the top stories. IT firm Genpact will buy Headstrong. Government refers Karen Vedanta deal to group of ministers. And ADB cuts its estimate for India's economic growth. It's a shake-up in the global BPO industry. Genpact, the IT and consulting company, will acquire fellow IT firm Headstrong. The deal is worth $550 million and will close by the 31st of May. Genpact will use its own financial resources to complete the purchase. The company previously expected to see modest revenue growth this year. It's hoping the acquisition of Headstrong will boost its earnings. Genpact was originally a part of GE Capital in India. The company was spun off in 2005. In other news, the Ken Vedanta deal has come a small but crucial step towards approval. On Wednesday, the union cabinet referred the proposed acquisition to a group of ministers. Finance Minister Pranab Mukherjee will head the GOM. Back in August, Cairn India's UK parent had agreed to sell a 51% stake in the company to Vedanta for up to $9.6 billion. News of the government's decision came after markets closed on Wednesday. Shares of Cairn India tumbled 3.87% on the BSC to 3.51 rupees. And Vedanta's group company Sesa Goa went the other way, climbing 3.71% by the end of trade. And on the economy, a new forecast suggests growth this year could be much lower than previously thought. The Asian Development Bank's half-yearly outlook has cut its projection for the current fiscal to 8.2%. ADB's earlier estimate was 8.7%. ADB's latest projection is in stark contrast with the government's estimates, which hover around 9%. So what's prompted the pessimism? ADB's outlook cites inflation as the biggest culprit, partly because it has prompted monetary tightening. Other challenges include rising oil prices and poor growth in global trade. On the bright side, ADB expects India's economy to pick up speed in the next fiscal, once reforms and other policies start having an effect. And India could begin exporting wheat this year. On Wednesday, Agriculture Minister Sharad Pawar said the government might lift its four-year ban if there's a bumper crop this year. India has already increased its forecast for 2011's wheat harvest to 84.3 million tonnes from the previous estimate of 81.5. And here's a look at Indian markets on Wednesday. The Sensex lost 75 points to 19,612 and the Nifty fell 18 to wind up at 5,892. Uncertainty about oil prices contributed to the declines, but some stocks still made gains. Mahindra Satyam shot up more than 6% on news that the company and its old auditor, PwC, would pay a legal settlement in the U.S. And shares of Dunlop India surged 3.6% after its promoters told it to reverse its decision to lay off some workers. And that's all we have for you. Thanks for watching.